Right then, so we look at these then, buddy. So, right hand one was your before, okay? Yeah. Club going back. You turn your torso there, but the arms are really whipping that club behind. So we get sort of halfway back, you know, to the golf club now, kind of behind your legs there, okay? This one here now, as the club goes back, the arms and the club stay more in front at the same kind of position. The club now nicely on line with the target line. Arms are more in front of your chest. Your right arm's more in front here rather than sort of moving back behind you. As you continue on in the back some of this one here now, not really much sort of chest move, but now in the arms kind of like dragging that club. That's very, very what we call flat or low compared to this one here now, working a bit more up. Angle of that shaft now is a bit more towards the golf ball. Hands a bit higher there, getting that left arm a bit more kind of across your shoulder line there, okay? Certainly higher up. So as you come back down now, these two lines I put in the start position, okay? As you come back down with this one now, just before impact, now you see the club just as we come into impact frame before there. The club now is working there, nearest towards the ball. This one is obviously further inside because the club's kind of come in from in here. So the club's coming too far kind of behind you as we get down to here now. There, that frame there. The club further behind you, it's just working more out there. And the follow through in both of these cases kind of showcase that's a nice free flowing follow through. This is like, I can't get my own way. <laughs> kind of get round and very sort of sawn off. There's not much finish there. The foot's not going to come around so much. Look how much sort of fuller that follow through is compared to that one there. It's kind of like, well, get round and hope for the best. And yeah, towards the end of the back nine or the end of the front nine, sorry, today and then into the back nine, you figured out a way of getting the club from too far behind by kind of doing that, I'd imagine, and hit the ball straight. And there's less of those scuffy, low hooky ones and it was an all right kind of shot. Whereas that one there now is looking more like, okay, here's my target line. I'm swinging that golf club now, nice and up and down a bit more on plane. Good strike towards target, and away you go. So just get that sensation. The arms, I said, just literally doing that. They stay in front of your chest as your chest works around your spine there and moves around the body. The arms work up, the arms work up. If they're working round here, it's just then very sort of flat and hooky, and yeah, you'll figure it out a way, but never going to be as consistent, yeah? Okay, mate, makes sense? Yeah. Good stuff, very good, mate, okay? That's the same with obviously all clubs, but yeah. Looking good with the uh, the hybrid, which is nice. Get the hybrid working better. I'd start using it a bit more. Try on a few holes, maybe where there's a bit wider. Oh, there's not many wide holes at Witchers, but yeah, yeah, a few yeah. wider-ish holes where, or in some way, just, just have a few, hit, maybe a first one down there when you're keeping score and go, okay, I'll hit a hybrid down just a second more. Just see where it goes. Just as a, as a practice go and see what benefit you're going to get with that swing, yeah?